I just have to explain Danny to the Americans what, that are online um, because a lot of them are just new to Diary of a Botox Bitch podcast, which is streaming on the other TikTok. So basically, yeah, I did The Real Housewives of Ireland. The Real Housewives of Ireland is a lot like The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, but like I said, less money, a lot less money. Also did a show in England called Celebrity Big Brother. And Celebrity Big Brother is a lot like, well, it's a lot like Big Brother, but a lot less celebrity. Also, very quickly, the British tabloids and Irish tabloids dub me Dr. Botox, sometimes a bitch of Botox, sometimes just Botox bitch. And I was immediately selected to host a show called 50 Plastic Surgery Shockers. It's a show, it's kind of like the UK version of Botched, or as I like to call it, 50 Fucked Up Faces. So someone here, Danny has just asked, who's your favourite housewife? So let's get into this, and then also rate the Dublin housewives from first to last. So the person I thought was most talented on the show was Joe Jordan. And I was great friends with her, very fond of her until she betrayed me. So I have her on my phone as Joe Dust to remind me of the betrayal. And what she did to me was so terrible. It was horrific, it was just so awful. I mean, I can't quite remember what it was now, but I know it was really bad. Um, so Joe is the most talented. I think Roz was, I actually thought Roz was a speaking extra until about season two. I didn't realize she was a cast member because she was so fucking boring. And then Lisa Murphy is a gorgeous person inside and out, a complete lady. Um, Virginia was a self-proclaimed heiress to a Irish restaurant dynasty. I mean, please, they had a couple of fish and chip shops and a burger roach truck at the seaside probably. So I used to call her flip the burger or to her face vagina macaroni. Um, so she, so Joe is the most talented. Roz was the most boring and had no talent. Virginia Vagina Macaroni is the biggest see you next Tuesday. She always was, she always will be, and she's even continues now to be one. So I don't give her any mercy at all. In fact, we did a TikTok the other day where we, <laughs> there's a TikTok at the moment going around saying 19 felonies but never been to jail or something funny like that. And we actually put that sound over footage of her baby daddy. So anyway, and episode one and episode two on the podcast,